another week at the Alabama Bowl Camp wound up our objectives were to take those uh, pontoons set them up on a makeshift wooden frame see if they floated they did wanted to throw a gas powered pump on top see if it was buoyant enough and stable it was and I wanted to see if I could hook up that uh, 16 inch wide sluice box to it for when we have it really working as a 4 inch and uh, it worked out okay I actually caught a little gold I'm real surprised um, second time I put it in the water I uh, just wanted to get it on video and wound up uh, just sucking up some overburden and uh, the sluice box was much too wide for the two inch uh, pump and wound up bogging down all the ripples and getting everything filled up and stuffed up and I had to wash it out by hand but believe it or not we got a couple of flakes out of it after only running probably 30 minutes of that. project I've been messing on with for a while. I want to put my own dredge together. Well, I've got the first part of it done. It's rigged. Uh, three parts to this test. The first one, we wanted to see how buoyant the pontoons were. They're very buoyant. I wanted to see if I put the pump and an engine on top, um, if it would be stable. It is, and then I wanted to see what would happen if I messed around with the weight distribution. The sluice box, the engine, the crash box. So I got everything rigged right now, and it's in the, it's in the uh, creek. Um, I passed all the tests, other than I've got a two inch pump on there, and it's designed for a uh, four inch. I overcompensated with the engine weight. I kind of cantilevered it off the back of the two pontoons and the leverage kind of got it dragging down in the back, but that's okay. Uh, I tried to run the sluice box that I have on there that I intend to use. Uh, it's designed to be utilized with a uh, keen engine, and high pressure engine and uh, pump uh, for a four inch with a compressor that's on order, as an it's not in yet. When I get it, I'll have a steel frame made up for this. Sluice box is there. That two inch is just getting bogged down. Uh, it'll do okay with a two inch dredge setup. Actually, that's what this water pump came with, a Joby uh, 45 inch sluice uh, and a crash box to make it a dredge. That 16 inch I, a wide sluice I have on there now is way too wide. Um, as soon as I put anything on that two inch, a jet nozzle. Um, I get an overburden just box down that sluice box. You can't even see the ripples, but that's okay. Um, when I get that four inch set up with the four inch hose and uh, the uh, jet flare and, and everything that goes with it and the right power plant and pump, the high pressure pump, uh, everything will work just fine. I'll show you everything right now. The uh, pontoons are made out of wood, covered with fiberglass. Uh, the wood 2 by 4s you see, that's only temporary just to see what this uh, stability and the buoyancy of those pontoons. As we get closer to this engine, I hope you can hear me, but at the 2 inch crash box, that's not going to stay, but this is the sluice box I intend to use. I've got that on full, full throttle right now, and uh, it's just picking up a little bit of overburden that uh, the suction mouse is laying on top of it. Uh, if I try to put anything through it, it'll clog those ripples and that expanded metal right up. But that's okay, like I said, when I get the right engine, it'll work just fine. I 
There's also constructed two pontoons that are identical to these. They go to the front. I'll show you pictures of those. Um, they're not fiberglass or waterproof just yet. Uh, they are cut at a 45 degree angle up front. And that's when the whole setup is going to be converted into a six inch bridge. There's my little two inch pump. Struggling, struggling, not doing anything. Shoot for a high banker, but got no business being on top of the pontoon. to overcompensate, or uh, wanted to compensate for the weight of the engine by cantilevering it off the back of the pontoons. I went a little bit too far. Probably didn't have to extend it beyond the stern. But once we get it, all the right components, no doubt in my mind, it's all going to work out well. I'd like to thank Spencer from South Yuba Mining for the sluice box. And the idea to put the dredge together, I want to thank old Reed Lukens. 